line throw in Manoa as Alec Manoa takes on Robbie Ray and the Mariners. The Blue Jays have won a single game on this road trip and they need one desperately tonight. If your skills range from ordering tacos on a Wednesday to splitting a burger three ways, you belong at Boston Pizza, where those in the know patio. Here is Toronto's lineup for game three of this series with George Springer leading things off on this road trip so far. He's just one for 15. They need something for the top of the order. Bo Bichette with a base hit in last night's game. His hit streak now at 13 games, bat second. Guerrero Jr., Kirk Hernandez, and then Gurriel Jr. is the DH. Chapman, Espinal, and Rimal Tapia will bat ninth and play left field for the Blue Jays tonight. So, things have not gone well for this club lately, Arden. Can you trace this malaise to a certain point? I can. I can trace it back to starting pitching. And I think if you're watching this club, you're thinking, man, these relievers can't get outs. Man, this offense is cold. But I think those are knock-on effects from starting pitching. I think it goes back to Yusei Kikuchi and Jose Barrios being inconsistent, having rocky outings. I think it goes back to Kevin Gosman coming out of his start after only two innings after getting hit in the anchor, that in the ankle. That's put perpetual weight on this bullpen. It's asked this bullpen to carry way too substantial of a load and it's catching up to Toronto. And then the offense is another knock-on effect. The Blue Jays are constantly playing from behind. You're seeing hitters getting out of their approaches and chasing the game. Look at these numbers. This is over the last 14 days, two weeks. Blue Jays relievers have thrown the most innings of any club in MLB. And look at those offensive stats at the bottom. The Blue Jays walk rate is near the bottom of the league and their swing percentage is near the top of the league. That tells you these hitters are being aggressive. They are expanding. They are trying to make too much happen, Ricky. I think they're coming out of their approach and I think it starts with starting pitching. 100%, I agree. The starting pitching, when you look at the top teams in the big leagues, the Yankees, Houston, they're all doing it with pitching, starting pitching. You, need le you, you really need length out of these guys. And Manoa tonight, it's a huge start for him. And it, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking seven plus for him, Jamie. Almost feels like this all began a week ago today when Kevin Gosman took that comebacker in the foot. And it's been, for the most part, downhill since then. Here's Seattle's lineup brought to you by Bet365. And they have had an awfully productive time lately as Julio Rodriguez leads off for their team. Two for five with a double in last night's game. Ty France, the DH tonight. He can hit. And Eugenio Suarez, who bats fifth this evening with the home run last night. Believe it or not, the guy's hit 208 home runs in his career, and that was his first walk-off home run as a major leaguer. So let's send it over to the guys from SN Bets. Thank you, Jamie. I'm Anthony Bruno with Kevin Mickey at the SN Bets Big Board presented by Bet365. Everything seems to be going wrong for the Blue Jays right now. They're not winning, they're not hitting, and the pitching staff has been struggling as well. But, Kevin, if anyone is going to put an end to this madness, it's going to be Alec Manoa, right? Standing at a six foot six, weighing 285 pounds, a starting pitcher out of Homestead, Florida. He is a slump buster, Alec Manoa. Yes, sir, A.B. Manoa. He seems like the right guy to right the ship right now. And the betting market agrees. Jays are favorites at minus 130 on the money line. Manoa, he hasn't allowed more than four earned runs in any of his starts this season. The Cy Young candidate helping the Jays to favorite status today. Remember Cy Young Robbie Ray from last season with the Blue Jays? He did not immediately carry that over to this season with Seattle, but after a rough first couple months, Ray has been lights out over his last five starts, allowing just three earned runs over his last 33 and two-thirds innings. The Blue Jays offense will have its hands full tonight, and with how good Alec Manoa has been this season, we could see a low-scoring game, Kevin. Oh, you want to talk good pitching? Well, Clayton Kershaw toes the rubber for the Dodgers tonight as they host the Cubbies. Kershaw, the future Hall of Famer. It's safe to say he's a future Hall of Famer. Right? I hope so. Yeah, I think so. He blanked the Cubbies over seven strong earlier in the season. That's 21 outs, by the way. And outside of blip in the radar at Coors Field, Clay has indeed slayed over his last four starts to the tune of a 1.64 ERA. Uh, who's on the other side of the rubber, Bruno? 
On the mound for the Cubs is Marcus Stroman. Jays fans know him very well. Returning from a shoulder injury, making his first start since June 3rd. In that start, he gave up nine earned runs. Then Stroman got torched in a AAA rehab start last Sunday. And tonight he faces a Dodgers lineup that leads Major League Baseball in OPS against right-handed pitching. If Stroman isn't sharp tonight, the Dodgers could do some damage. And the Toronto Blue Jays looking to do a lot of damage to their old pal, Robert Glenn Ray at T-Mobile Field tonight. Plenty of marquee names on the bump in the late games across baseball this evening. Jamie. Hi, gentlemen. Tune in tonight. It's Vladdy Guerrero Jr. and the Blue Jays taking on the Seattle Mariners from T-Mobile Park. We'll be back right after this.